The doctor will be in to see you shortly. Thanks. What in the world are we doing in a doctor's office? Yeah. Shouldn't we be out learning about important stuff like the Big Bang, Mount Rushmore, or why every bag of potato chips is only half filled? Yeah, but after sitting in the spaceship for so long, my spine is pretty sore. Come to think of it, mine is a bit too. Well, that's perfect. Then you can see both of our spines. Now quick, go through the drawers and grab some free band-aids before... Wait, did you hear that? I don't have ears. I'm a puppet. Come to think of it, I don't have a spine either. Just some guy's hand jammed up my... Shh, it kind of sounds like... Maybe it's the doctor. Andy, why would the doctor come through the ceiling? Maybe the door is locked. The door's open. Yeah. Hey, before you guys leave, can you steal me some cotton swabs? What? Well, maybe he can't fit through the door. Andy, what kind of doctor can't fit through the door in his own doctor's office? Me. So you just go around from room to room tearing the ceilings off to see your patients? Technically, yes. Kind of seems a little unnecessary, don't you think? Come to think of it, it kind of does. Well, since you're here, our spines are sore. Whose are? Us! Wait a second. Spine. Sore. Us. Spinosaurus! That must be why you became a spine doctor! Yeah! Actually, my mom and dad pressured me into it. I wanted to be a ballerina, but... A ballerina butt? What? Come on! At least try to be a ballerina shoe or a ballerina leotard. Ah, forget it. You're just like everyone else, shooting down my hopes and dreams. Yeah. I'm sorry, Spinosaurus. Don't listen to him. I think it's actually pretty cool that you want to be a ballerina. You do? Yep. In fact, if you could tell us a little bit about Spinosaurus... Seven hours later... Then maybe I can help you become a ballerina. Yeah. You would do that for me? It's the least we could do, really. Okay, then let's get started. The Spinosaurus was a type of dinosaur called a theropod. Theropods usually had three-toed arms and legs, and were often carnivorous dinosaurs, which means they ate meat. Theropods were a very diverse group, and also included the Tyrannosaurus rex. My name, Spinosaurus, translates to spine lizard, due to my large spine, which can sometimes be called my sail. I was discovered in 1912 in the western desert of Egypt. Among the few skeleton pieces found were a strangely shaped lower jaw, some crocodile-like teeth, and several back vertebrae that each sported tall spines, some of them measuring nearly six feet. I lived all the way back in the middle of the Cretaceous period, about 112 to 97 million years ago in North Africa around the land that is now part of modern-day countries such as Egypt and Morocco. I lived in large bodies of water, which reached across the whole of the North African coast. These included lakes and swamps, but these areas of water have since dried up. Lakes and swamps? What were you doing hanging around there? Some experts think I may have been a dinosaur. That swam! Whoa! Swam? Did you wear swimmies? What? What? No, only little kids and babies wear those. You would never catch me wearing... Wearing what? Oh, uh, uh wearing... Uh, bell-bottom jeans. Yeah, you'd never see me wearing those. Oh, good. Because for a second there, I thought you were going to say swimmies. Yeah. Who, me? No, swimmies are totally cool and uh, safe and cool and... Did I say cool? Yeah, like twice already. But tell us about you swimming. That sounds pretty unique. He totally is. Paleontologists believe that the Spinosaurus could have swam based on their physical features and may have been one of the first dinosaurs to swim. These special features included short hind limbs like early whales and other animals that spent time in the water. Dense and compact bones wide and flat claws, and feet that may have been webbed, and a long and slender snout with teeth similar to crocodiles. I am the biggest meat-eating dinosaur that has ever been discovered, and during my time in and near the water, I likely ate lots of fish, 
including sharks. Ew, you eat sharks? That's disgusting. What do you mean? You're eating one right now. Wait a second, is that blood? What? No, it's barbecue sauce. Yeah. Then what's that dead shark doing in your hands? Oh, this? It's barbecue sauce too. Mr. Domero, are you just going to say that everything is barbecue sauce? Are you talking to me? Yes, I said your name. Oh, I don't go by that anymore. Well, what do I call you? Barbecue sauce. What? <sighs> Whatever. So barbecue sauce. Yes, barbecue sauce. Now I'm barbecue sauce too. Barbecue sauce. What? <sighs> I am finished with you. Wait, did you just say fin? Yeah, why? Well, you've got that big old fin on your back right there. You look like a half crocodile, half swordfish. Well, I'm not. I'm actually much bigger than both of those things. Let's start with my fin, or as some people call it, my sail. It can reach heights up to seven feet. That's bigger than LeBron James. No one is sure what it was used for, but there are a few theories. Some think the sail could have been used to scare off enemies. Others think it could help regulate body temperature. But most believe that I may have been able to spread the sail when threatened or looking to attract a mate. But besides my sail, I could be pretty big myself. I could reach heights up to 18 feet. That's six feet bigger than the T-Rex. Also, many believe I could weigh up to 38,000 pounds, which is heavier than the Mosasaurus. I was long too, reaching up to 59 feet. What? That's almost as long as three killer whales. Bonk. My teeth were no joke too. I had 64 teeth with some reaching up to 5 inches long. Even with being so huge, I was actually pretty fast. Whoa. Experts believe I may have been able to run at speeds up to 15 miles per hour. That's two times faster than the average human. Whoa. You know what? You held up your side of the bargain. I think it's only fair that we hold up ours. What do you mean? You said you wanted to be a ballerina, and we know the perfect person to make that happen. Hello, Soggy? Yes, my babushka? I need a favor. My bad. Hey, teachers, parents, check out my Spinosaurus quiz on my Teachers Pay Teacher site. I have a bunch of other quizzes and worksheets from my other videos there too. But now I need to thank my patrons on Patreon who help keep this channel alive. Especially Mary Margaret M, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Jack Hartzler, Jack and Easton Hess, Parker from Needham, Gavin Watt and his cool dad, Christopher F, Eliza Sawyer, Haley and Ethan Hebbard, the Rovard Boys, Wesley C, Dean Scandalakis, Chris the Megalodon, Marshall G, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Lydia and Finn Biersch, Ben and Ollie, Ethan and Axel, Elijah Robert, Henry Pavelko, Tobin and Nina, Nora Close, Amelia and Alan Mills, Jean, Amy, Patterson, Jameson and Isla Smith from Arkansas, Bennett E, aka Pooh Bear, JJ Schmidt, Gabe and Elijah, Timmy C, Rebecca and Sarah F from Pennsylvania, Oshi, the Gauker family, Evan Lee, Carter, Levi, and Fletcher, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, Edward, Mr. Fast, and Mr. Red, Julian, Jackson, and Jacob, Harrison Eastwood, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Harper, Lily, and Thatcher McCoy, Ada S., Callum G., Jasper, Soros Rex, Leah and Gavin Clark, Connor LeCoque and family, Jordana and Aaron, Jacob Paduzzi Thorpe, Alexander and Julian, Ariella Tishkoff, Aiden J., Asher Evans, Brandon Favaza and Mommy, Greg Matlock, Jason the Kid Parker, Gabriella Encarnacion, Mabel and Graham, Luke Raposa, Julian and Joseph Pierce, Cora Ayer and Jovi Douthit, Gavin Meidel, Creative Devin and Zach T, Stephen McPhee, Noah Chin, Leif Lake and Ember Anderson Miller, Hannah, Maya and Zoe, Adeline Fitzgerald, Medium Jack Page, GC, Kate and Sarah, Eliza Griffiths and Jonathan Griffiths, Charles and Olivia, Grant and Ara Brown, Santi Barajas, Georgie and his Grammy Genie and Grampy Mike, Gavin Huggin, Toothless and Light Fury, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Charlie Stone, Hannah Y, Farron Witter, Max C, Sam and Eddie from London, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, 
Ian, Parker, and Braylon Callis, Connor and Emma B, Amelia Silva, Lillian and Davis Sozin, Kuchan115, Beatrice Ballar, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Lennon McCutney Jones, Paige, Avalon, and Cash, Aiden Fenway Riley, Miera and Mrs. Logrande's Second Grade Class, Rebecca Beanie, Jameson, Nolan, and Lily, Renko, Kosya, and Yaro, Jakey Jake, do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video, see my videos early, help me pick my next topic, and more. Check the description box for a link. Now, in my last video, I asked if you had my books to send me a picture of you with it. So, let's take a look and see who sent them in. I got this one from Owen in Texas. He's got my Biggest Stuff in the Universe book. And he's got like a homemade spaceship version of my spaceship. That's awesome. Thank you, Owen. I got this one from Olivia in California. She's rocking the Mr. DeMeo shirt. She's got both books and the Roberta Pillow. Bonus points to Olivia. I got this one from Landon in Michigan. He's got both books. Looking good, Landon. This one from my friend Declan in Hawaii. He's got the record-breaking Natural Disasters book and the Roberta pillow and an awesome smile. Looking good, Declan. And this one from Eviana. She's got my biggest stuff in the universe book. Maybe even a Roberta pillow behind her. Thank you, Eviana. And this one from Ian in Kentucky. He's got pretty much everything. Look, he's even got the Mr. DeMeo blanket, the Andy pillow, Roberta pillow, both books, and I see a Super DeMeo cart shirt on him. Awesome, awesome, Ian. Thank you, my friend. And I got this one from Max in Wisconsin. He's got both of my books, The Biggest Stuff in the Universe and Record-Breaking Natural Disasters, and a cat who's just like, man, I saw these books. These are good books right here. Thank you, Max. If you have my books and want to be featured in my next video, send me a picture of you with my books to mrdemeo7 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, guys.